Good morning, Facebook. I'm Stephanie Weaver. I'm coming to you live from the Recipe Renovator Kitchen, which is also the home of the Migraine Relief Plan. My book, The Migraine Relief Plan, will be out in February of 2017, but you can pre-order it on Amazon now. You'll find 325 healthy recipes suitable for all kinds of special diets on RecipeRenovator.com, and I'm going to be making one of those recipes for you today. So I'm here in the kitchen. Uh, the dogs are outside right now. Microwave Boy is on the camera. Good morning, camera, Facebook. Microwave. And uh, so today I'm making an unusual dressing. And um, so sometimes most dressing are based made with oil and vinegar, right? And that's usually how you start with them. But I'm using miso today. What's miso? Uh, so miso is a fermented bean paste. Usually it's made with soybeans, but it is available with, from some other kinds of beans. And this is uh, South River Organic Chickpea Miso. It's delicious. I try to avoid soy as much as I can, uh, being somebody who gets migraines when soy can be a trigger. Um, also fermented foods are a trigger, so this is fermented, so you definitely have to test it. But I've been able to use it in small quantities, and it's really high in probiotics. So um, that's one reason we're using it. We're also using it mainly for flavor. Because you always have it in the fridge, right? Well, I always have it in the fridge, right? It doesn't spoil because it's fermented. And it tastes uh, kind of uh, salty, savory, a little nutty. Uh, the closest, I would say, is a, is a soy sauce. And that's where it's, it's giving you that, um, that umami flavor, that savory flavor that we love so much. So this is a blender recipe. And it's two, about two tablespoons of miso. So I'm going to start with that. Get that in here, and then the original recipe that I did, which was inspired by Japanese farm food, an incredible cookbook by Nancy Singleton Hachisu, we'll talk about that more in a minute, um, was with walnuts. Now, I went to the store last night around the corner, and they usually have a great selection of stuff, and they did not have raw walnuts, <laughs> so we're making this with macadamia nuts, which will provide a lot of wonderful fat content very creamy texture, and they happen to be raw, which is kind of hard to find raw macadamia nuts. So I thought, ooh, this would be perfect. That, that'll make a great dressing. Um, they're not soaked, they're just plain old raw. So we're gonna make this at the last minute. So if you didn't have miso, what, if miso wasn't in, in the fridge, what would you be using instead? Oh, um, that's a really good question. Maybe uh, if, if I was doing nuts, mm -hmm. I might try some, Sometimes you use mustard, right? Yeah, mustard as, as the kind of emulsion. Um, yeah, I might do some vinegar, um, maybe like a rice wine vinegar. And, and uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and turn on the Mr. <laughs> Sorry about that. tablespoons of water and you can kind of see that it's uh, oh I should turn it so you can actually see um, that it's still chunky and it's pretty thick so I'm going to add two more tablespoons of water what I recommend you do is you just add the water in two tablespoons so increments. what you're saying is the nuts provide the the nuts provide the oil okay. so in a normal dressing you would have oil and vinegar right and so the nuts are providing the oil the water's obviously making it you know liquid and the, the right consistency and then the miso is providing the flavor so the one thing to remember um, whenever you restart a blender is to turn it all the way to low so you're not starting it on high and letting it So you see that we're getting creaminess, and um, I probably, if I was not um, live on air, I probably would blend this for another minute or so, so it was completely smooth and creamy. But this is going to be fine, and this is going to be a nice pourable consistency. And I can smell that sort of cheesy, yeasty flavor from the miso, so um, we're good to go, I think, on that. So the rest of the salad is a fairly simple salad. I'm going to start with the apple. And why did you pick this ingredient for a salad? Yeah, so um, so 
This is a savory dressing, a savory salty dressing. So I've got two sweet components, apple and carrot, and then I've got a peppery component, which is the arugula. Now this is actually a Trader Joe's blend. It's the arugula, or organic lemony greens blend, and it has arugula, dock, spinach, and red oak lettuce. And so it's going to be a peppery, bitter component. So you've got peppery, bitter, you've got sweet, and you've got savory, which is going to make a beautifully blended salad. Um, if you have a sweet lettuce, like a butter lettuce, and sweet, and a sweet dressing, then it's going to be too much, right? You want that balance on the plate. And now the dogs are, are barking and playing outside, so there you go. Um, one of them's playing, one, one of them is one not. Of one of them's playing, one of them's not. So the one that's barking is Daisy because she's trying to get Junebug to play with her. And um, so that's what's happening outside. Okay, so this is, I'm just coring the apple with the OXO corer, which I probably have talked about already because I love the, their stuff so much. And the right. microwave boy's going to let them in. Ready for incoming? Yeah, incoming. Right, here comes the army. Let's go. <laughs> There's there the you army. Go. There we go. You would think you were making chicken today. You would think I was making chicken. All right, so for one salad, you know, I might do... Daisy. Come on. Settle down, please. Settle down. Thanks. Oh, she's all juiced up. So, Let's uh, have your inside Facebook live stream yes, voices, your, please. <laughs> inside voices, that's right. So, you know, for one person, maybe half of an apple, depending on how hungry you are. And then we're almost done with the salad. It's pretty simple. We're just going to do some carrot ribbons right on top. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's just part of life. June bugs usually here on Wednesdays. And they have been playing since they, well, since June bug was about eight weeks old is when they met. So they are good friends. Now what I normally do if I have a really long carrot is I will cut it in half before I do the ribbons so that the ribbons aren't so long that they're difficult to eat when you're, you know, trying to put it in your mouth. Because I have one of my pet peeves about salad is pieces are always huge. Oh, there. <laughs> See, now, well, the funny thing is that we have trouble getting them to play these days. Because Junebug's almost two, Daisy's four, and they don't normally play that much. <laughs> And so today, of course, while we're live streaming, they've decided that they're not going to play. So, all right, well, there we go. We've got our pretty salad. We've got also, obviously, very beautiful set of colors on here. I'm just going to move this out of the way. So you can see, I'm going to move my other stuff out of the way so you can kind of get a nice view of my very pretty salad. And then we're going to have add some dressing to it and give it a taste. So if you've got any questions, obviously I'm here live, but you can also post them afterwards if you're watching the replay. You can see that this is a pretty thick uh, dressing, almost like a chunky kind of dressing. So you could also use this like in a salad that called for blue cheese, because it has that kind of cheesy, salty component to it. Um, would be great with nuts on the salad too. Now, just a couple notes. This is not, uh, as it is, not a migraine-friendly recipe and for, because it's got nuts and it's got fermented food in it. However, the whole point of the migraine relief plan is that you test out foods after you've been on the plan for a while and you can see what things you can add back into your life. And ideally, you add as many as possible. And that was a simple dressing that you can just switch out one or two ingredients you can there. Just switch out it's two nuts. ingredients, right? Yeah, it's two ingredients and water. So, yeah, it's pretty yeah. simple. Microwave yeah, so boy can make that. Microwave boy could make that. So get on that microwave boy. What I love about this dressing is it adds that rich component to salads. And for me, salad truthfully is an excuse to eat dressing. Now that I know about the value of healthy fats, and macadamia nuts are an incredibly healthy fat. They have a great fat profile. So there's something you want to eat more of when you can. Now, not in excess, and certainly you want it with uh, lower carbs, but like Mark Sisson from, the, uh, from Primal Nutrition, Primal Blueprint, Mark's Daily Apple, he really recommends macadamia nuts. So this would be something that he would recommend and would probably really enjoy. And lots of people are, are talking about gut health now. And so these fermented foods like miso, are a fantastic component uh, to help 
um, support your good gut bacteria that keeps your digestion regular, but also has a lot to do with your overall body health because now we know that the, the gut actually is kind of our second brain and our second immune system. So anyway, check this out. Feel free to ask me questions. Go on to RecipeRenovator.com. Uh, the recipe's there. We have 325 healthy recipes for all different kinds of special diet needs. And check out the Migraine Relief Plan, uh, Migraine Relief Plan on Amazon. Uh, it's available for pre-order now. You can also learn more about Migraine Relief Plan at MigraineRelieflan.com. And thanks for watching.